Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's always great fun to build a super long queue line and watch it fill up to the brim. Seeing 200 guests queue for the roller coaster you built is incredibly satisfying, albeit quite inefficient. In the grand scheme of things, 200 isn't a lot though and you can go much, much higher. A while ago I made a video where we saw that the limit for the number of guests in a queue line is 1000. Once you reach that number, no more guests will join the queue, no matter how much they want to. But what if that limit was removed? How high could we get? That's exactly what OpenRCT2 did, so now we can fit as many guests into a queue line as we would like. Reaching the original limit of 1000 isn't actually very difficult. This normal air powered vertical coaster with a very long queue line that has a few entertainers in it already does the trick. Granted, this is extreme height where every guest likes to be almost killed on every ride so they all love the air powered coaster, but it still shows that it's not too difficult to do. Now, we could simply build a longer queue line like I've done here, once again in extreme heights. This queue is more than 2000 people long, over twice the previous limit. The problem is that this is already about two thirds of all the guests in the park, so it cannot really get much higher unless we get many more guests. So that's exactly what we will do next. This is a park with over 500 rides and over 23,000 guests. Not only does this provide quite a bit of lag, it also provides a great opportunity to see how many guests we can fit in a queue line. Here is a Giga Coaster with over 10 excitement and a massive queue. Just opening this ride isn't enough as the guests will be distracted by the other lesser rides in the park. Therefore I closed all other rides so that their only option is the Giga Coaster or the park exit. As we watch the guests flow in I want to draw your attention to the position of the start of the queue line. It is directly opposite another path which helps massively. Guests prefer going straight ahead so leading them into the queue line like this gives them a higher chance of going on the ride. This line of ferris wheels illustrates the difference really well. The two wheels across a junction have a full queue line while the other ones are pretty much empty. With all the guests having nothing else to do this massive queue line fills up pretty nicely. It is quite satisfying to see them all moving about like ants, taking forever to even reach the ride, let alone actually ride it. After more than an hour of waiting the entire queue is filled up with more than 13,000 guests, but once again the queue line itself is too short. What we need is a more controlled and optimized experiment. Fellow roller coaster tycoon YouTuber Cody Watkins already tried this a while ago, but he didn't quite manage to get to the maximum and then he challenged me to see if I could do it. Well, challenge accepted. First we need a ride that as many guests as possible will go on. Since all guests will always go on any free transport ride if they walk up to the entrance of the queue, a monorail is ideal here. We also need to prevent guests from leaving the queue after they have entered it, so we will go with a design that synchronizes with itself. If we only give it one train, it can never depart, so guests cannot leave the queue through the ride. Now it's time to build the queue line. With it wrapping around the right like this, there is no space for access to the exit building, but that's not necessary. Since guests won't ride the monorail, they also won't exit it, and I found that as long as the train doesn't depart, the ride doesn't break down at all, so mechanics don't need backdoor access either. With a queue line of over 10,000 tiles long, I think it's long enough to reach our goal. Now comes the boring bit as we need queue line TVs on every single tile. Even missing just one will cause guests to leave the queue as soon as they get on that tile. This is a mistake that Cody made and understandably so as not only is it quite tedious to do but it can also be really hard to see if you've missed one. Luckily we don't need to bother with that as there exists a plugin which places queue line TVs on every queue line path tile, saving us a lot of time. 
Now all we have to do is advertise until the end of time and the queue line will slowly fill up. Thank god for the speedup function, as in this time lapse you're watching about 20 in-game years pass by, which is about 18 hours in real life at normal speed. It's one of my favorite features of OpenRCT2 and I use it in the making of almost every video, it saves so much time. Even with more than 50,000 guests in the queue, it's still not filled up completely. There is something very satisfying about watching the guests walking on the different paths next to each other trying to make it to the right, only to be stuck behind tens of thousands of other guests and die of hunger before they ever get a chance to ride the most exciting monorail ever built. We're now at just over 65,000 guests and suddenly we're no longer getting any new guests, which is because we have reached the sprite limit. There can only be 65,136 sprites on a map. We're using one of those sprites for the monorail vehicle, which means that we can have 65,135 guests in the park, and they are all in this everlasting queue line. But what if that sprite limit wasn't there? Well, in that case we can build a queue line as long as we want, until we reach OpenRCT2's map element limit, which is more than 15 million. This means that we can build a queue line of exactly that many tiles, minus the little bit that the monorail takes up. To calculate how many guests would fit in this queue, we need to know how many guests can fit on a single tile. This 400 tile queue line has 2120 guests in it, which means that on average there fit 5.3 guests on one queue line path tile. Multiplying these two numbers with each other gives us a limit of more than 83 million guests in one queue line. If we also ignore this map element limit, we are now limited by the maximum map size of 1000 by 1000 and the height limit of the game of 127 units. A queue line filling this entire map would fit about 339 million guests. If you have all advertisements running at all time, it would take more than 13 years in real life to fill up this entire queue line. And we could go on ignoring limits forever. The point is that apart from arbitrary limits imposed by the game, there is no limit. The income from the park entrance will fund the advertising campaigns and the guests will never leave the line, so you can go on until even after the universe coaster is finished. I hope you enjoyed this bit of existential dread about queue lines. Some of the parks in this video were built live on Twitch, so if you want to see that, do follow me there. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.